If any of you want to talk about the demand side in more detail, how do you think about addressing that side of things, different business models, different investment ideas? Yeah, I think the, another area of demand that we haven't really talked about is X power. So power is an important factor, and it's because it's demanded by not just energy transition technologies, but by kind of the wider economy at large. I think the demand to Marina's point around um, kind of incentives for companies to decarbonize their technologies is something that I am continually concerned about in, in kind of newer, um, longer dated energy transition technologies. So you know that if you build some form of new power supply, there will be demand for that, That's right. um, depending upon kind of pricing dynamics. But what if you build a green hydrogen produ production facility? What, you know, where is the demand for green hydrogen kind of in the economy? Where is the demand for um, well, carbon capture maybe you know, is, is a slightly easier one to answer, but there are a lot of these technologies that we get very excited about that, that get very trendy in um, the energy transition space. I'm guilty of this myself. And then you kind of think about the long-term effects without policy. You know, what is the what policy or incentivization or punishment? What is the driving force for companies to reorient themselves when at the current moment it's not costly to stick with the status quo? So it's both kind of uh, peer, you know, peer pressure, it's both um, kind of customer demand, but for many of these industrial companies, there is very limited customer demand. They just, it's just about price. So then, you know, how do you get to price either through kind of credit systems or incentivization through, you know, regulatory framework or um, kind of a negative effect through punishment, um, either formally or informally, that derives drives that demand? Because I think power demand if you build some form of new power source, people will, will come. But what if you are going to spend billions on green cement, even though it's going to be you know, quite, quite expensive? Like, are people definitely going to buy it? I think those, those are the questions that for in technologies that you think are probably 2035 and later, we still need to be having those conversations now.